We're live here on a Google Plus Hangout with LeVar Burton. Thank hey. you so much for joining us yeah, today. Very cool. Couldn't I love be, technology. <laughs> couldn't be more excited to have you here for World Read Aloud Day. What got you to love reading when you were younger? It wasn't a what, it was a who. My mom was an English teacher. She read to us when we were kids. I have two sisters. She read in front of us and she read with us. What's your favorite kid's book? Can I name more than one? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love the book Amazing Grace. Do you, guys, do you know the book Amazing Grace? Do you know I don't book? know that book. Wonderful story about a little girl named Grace um, who wants to play Peter Pan in the school play. And nobody thinks that she would play Peter Pan because she's a girl. What would be your tips to people to make the read aloud experience mm. really engaging? It helps to, to like the person that you're reading to. <laughs> <laughs> What the listener is doing is, is letting you in to their imagination. And so I think it's, it's important to be really respectful of that, uh, that process and to honor it and to be gentle and mindful that you, know, you are being invited in. People ask me all the time, what, what should I get my kid to read? How, or, or how do I get my kid to read? And I always respond to parents, find out what your child's passion is about and if your child's passion is about motorcycles then get your kid a book on motorcycles we are also lucky that you gave your time to come in here today mm -hmm. joined by the hangout thank you and happy world read aloud day everybody